Firebase 17 AMV Cam Common Slate. Mark. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase. You've got a lot of questions, we've got a lot of answers. Why don't we get started? Doug, start us off. This one is from Jordan on YouTube who asks, how come when I make changes in remote config, they sometimes don't show up right away in my app? Oh, all right. That is a very good question, Jordan. So the answer basically is that the remote config library does a whole bunch of caching on the client by default up to 12 hours before it goes out and hits our servers to get new data. And this is generally sort of a way to keep the service free. It kind of helps make sure that your clients don't accidentally, you know, DDoS our service. And it turns out I have an entire video all about it that you should check out right here. We'll just link to it here. All right, great question. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Next question is from Casey Atwell42 in Twitter who asks, ask Firebase, why in my app does it say UI view controller is not convertible to user status view controller when I try to run it? Oh, okay, you know what? I've actually uh, seen this problem before. So the issue, Casey, is that on line 96 of your user status view controller, you forgot to add a question mark. It's, it's a common thing, it happens all the time. But that was easy, huh? Yeah. I hope they're all this easy. All right, let's move on. Next, Next question. question. This one is from Alex on YouTube, and come to think of it, a whole bunch of users on Quora and our Firebase talk group and Stack Overflow who all wanna know, hey, hashtag ask Firebase, how can I send a notification in response to some data changing in my real-time database? That's a great question. You used to have to set up your own server to do something like that. It was kind of hard, but now with Cloud Functions for Firebase, you can set this up on Google Cloud servers. You write code, deploy it, trigger on a database write, and then you can send FCM messages to your users. As simple as that. And where would a user want to go if they wanted to find out more about Cloud Functions? They should go to the Firebase page at firebase.google.com slash doc slash functions. All right, we'll put a link like, should we put a link here? Here's a link. The link in the description below. Great question. Thank you very much, everybody who asked. Let's move on to another. Next, Next question. question. This one is from Marie Waller, also on YouTube, who asks, hey, hashtag ask Firebase, in Picasso's Girl Before a Mirror, what is the mirror supposed to represent? Oh, okay, great question. So I know some people think that the mirror, the reflection is sort of supposed to be the girl's self-perception, you know, the way she perceives herself versus the way the world around her sees her. There's another camp of developers who thinks it might represent her blossoming femininity. But if you check out the Firebase FAQ section, we actually have uh, a section all about this. You'll see that the answer is, uh, hang on, I got it right here. Um, all right, mortality. It's mortality. Thank you very much for the question, Marie. Let's move on. This next question comes to us through our Firebase Google group and a user who asks, hey, hashtag ask Firebase, I wanna record the names of the elder gods in Firebase. Ooh, what's the best way to do that? Doug, you're, you're kind of an expert on this. Why, why don't you take this one? Yeah, so you might think that storing the names of the great old ones would be done with just a bunch of strings, so it would be a candidate for a typical NoSQL database. Mm -hmm. But it turns out, storing the symbols for the name of Ihor, God of the Labyrinth, on a normal hard drive will cause all physical storage within half a league to transform into carnivorous flies that will consume the flesh of our data center engineers until naught but bones and teeth remain. Okay. So don't do that. Yeah. Use cloud storage for Firebase instead. Yeah, that, that's really what it's made for. Yeah. yeah. Awesome question, let's move on. Next, Next question. question. This question is from Kelly S on Twitter, who asks, hey, hashtag ask Firebase. I have an app where I'm using Firebase Cloud Functions to read in an image from Cloud Storage for Firebase and then asynchronously apply some machine learning to identify the content of those images. Now my question is, can you teach me how to Dougie, teach me, teach me how to Dougie? Well, um, I'll be honest, this really seems like a better question for Doug. Doug? No, I cannot. Next, Next question. question. Okay, this last question is from several of you who have asked, hey, ask Firebase, whatever happened to David East? Ah, well, David is on assignment right now, but he's assured us that he'll be returning. My crew, can you hear me, YouTubers? What was that? I don't have much time. You have to help me. They've got me trapped in. Do whatever you have to to get us back. It's madness here. It's all just one repository. Right now, uh, shh, guys, go. <laughs> 
Sorry, we had some technical difficulties there. Anyway, David is off on assignment, but he's assured us that he's really interested in doing more Ask Firebase episodes with you just as soon as time allows. And he's definitely not being held captive in some re-education facility until he learns to pronounce GIF correctly. <laughs> Don't you mean GIF? Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Todd Kerfelman, the only host there has ever been for this episode of Ask Firebase, asking you to keep sending in those questions with the Ask Firebase hashtag, and we'll see you soon. Thank you